Good afternoon and welcome back to Good Morning for VA. I'm Julie Brown. I'm Red Bizarre. <laughs> and I lost my voice. Um, it's the Chianti. It's the Chianti. It's the Chianti. We're back with John Morris from Chan's Wine World and we're getting ready to taste our second wine. Let's take this nice little classic Chianti Classico, Classico. for a test drive. Okay, is, and it uh, explain, explain to the viewers again why we swirl. You swirl in order to release the esters uh, so that it fills the glass and uh, mm -hmm. with the aromas and, and really enhances the experience because, uh, so to speak, the nose knows when if the wine smells nice, chances are it's going it's to be taste attractive nice. on the And then if you do that well. with white or red, any with wine white, that you're drinking. Red. So Matter you're fact, not looking for legs and you're not doing all that. You're really well, just you, filling. You can look for legs. I mean, that, that you know does an indication only of how full body the wine is but you're, right. you're really just uh, you're opening it up uh, to release those esters so you, uh, you can smell something to do with the you're wine on an awkward date and, you don't and that's right and actually delicious. once you once you get this uh, <laughs> this down the swirling you'll be swirling your orange juice in the morning that's too right. that's, right. that's true that's so true we do swirl orange juice in the morning because it always it has, has a it always has champagne in champagne. it champagne <laughs> So this by Quisabella, this is, for those of you that like to follow wine reviews, uh, this is a 91 point uh, rated wine by Wine Spectator. And once a year, Wine Spectator uh, puts out a list of their top 100 wines of the year. This was in their top 100. This was number 81 on their top 100 wines of the world. This is classic uh, Chianti. You have a little bit of uh, almost violets on the nose, mm -hmm. a little bit of uh, leather characteristic. It's delicious. Uh, red fruits, plums, uh, very food friendly wine. And what would you pair this with? Yeah, one dish would be a Tuscan bean soup. Uh, other thing, the the cheese from the area, uh, Pecorino Toscana, with those firm cheeses, <coughs> or any of the grilled meats or game dishes, steak Fiorentine. Huh? And speaking of Fiorentine, if you ever travel to Florence, get off Some the train. Day. Some get day. off on the train. It, 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 the, the sign's not going to say Florence. It says Firenze. Firenze. I almost made that mistake. So get off in just, Firenze. I was going to ask you. I'm, I'm assuming that you've made many a trips over there, tasting I've been there, wine. Yes. And yeah. I love Italy. I love the Italian people, and I love Tuscany. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, and I understand you're going to be serving these wines um, at a dinner yes, at the Beach Club. Yes, we're doing it at the Santa Rosa Wine Beach Club. Santa Rosa Beach Club. <laughs> right, which yes, some of us are going to be going to. Some of us are going to be singing mm -hmm. these that be, night. Be three of the, the chef, four that you'll chef be Chef George is going to be uh, pouring. We're going to be pouring these wines with the uh, dishes we crafted together, along with a fourth wine, a baby Brunello. So those of you who are coming, you know what you have to look What's forward to. What's the third one? What's the third the, one? Well, is the dessert wine that we're moving on to. And we're moving on to the third one. Now, cameraman's now. a little antsy. I know, cameraman. He, well, you know, the staff is all back there drooling, so everybody wants their taste of the wine. So is everybody ready Even for Tim's dessert? Drooling. Oh, That's sure. Bad. Okay. <laughs> We're always ready for dessert. We're always ready for dessert. And this is the traditional and important, most important dessert wine, arguably in all of Italy. You notice the color? It's, how, how it's, it's beautiful. It's different. Um, and I understand it's. Um, Expensive. Yes, it is. It's is, that, very is, expensive. is that because it's so important? That's so what it's not only it's not just the market price. It's really it's the entire process. Um, Vinsanto is made in a very interesting process. The grapes are picked in September, October. They are laid out on straw mats until the following February, and then those raisinated grapes are then pressed and that's what forms the wine. Wow. It is then placed into small barrels and um, aged for seven years. Aged under very unusual circumstances. They are aged mostly in ventilated attics. And it, the wine really? is subjected to uh, the extreme changes in temperatures from the extreme colds in Tuscany can get very cold. Uh, to the warm summers, and uh, the warm be the uh, wine becomes slightly oxidized. That's why you see the brown color. Right. And this is actually a high, almost a hybrid of a wine and a whiskey. I was going to say, just took a yeah. Little it got a little bit of a whiskey-like characteristic. And you said in Italy, a lot of times they'll take their biscotti and actually right. dump their this as their. That, that's the favorite way of, of, of serving this is they'll take an almond biscotti mm -hmm. and they will dip it in the wine and they'll eat the biscotti. And what that does is it softens the biscotti right? and it makes the wine just a little less sweet. So my last question is why didn't you bring biscotti? That was a very good question. <laughs> I, I think there's a there's, See, I there's, told you she there's asked a world around chef around here that I'm sure right could have there. come up with a nice biscotti. I know. 
I know. <laughs> you can never make Tim standing in the background over there. I don't see any biscotti showing up on the table yet. Come or we could now. do a nice uh, lit cake, light cake, something like that. I can like see that. the white. How about a little bit of uh, tiramisu uh, gelato? That, is, yeah, that, that, might be, that might be over the top, but you that go for delicious. whatever you want. Uh, on the that nose and on the palate, you get, it's almost like a rich coconut cream pie with a little bit of maple syrup, it's dessert, uh, it's baked not. spices, it's incredible. and a little bit of apple. Very rich, very viscous, uh, fairly high in alcohol, and very, very tasty. Very, it's very delicious. Good. And Salute as usual, day. like we said, all of these wines can be found at Chan's Wine World. Right. And for those of you who are going to the Santa Rosa Wine Dinner October 3rd, you have this to look forward to, plus one other special wine that we don't know about yet. But, right. John, as usual, it was great to have you back. Thank you very oh, much. We missed it's you. Great to see you. Had a great time, we are glad, glad you're home. home. Nice coming home, particularly to this. To this. To this. No it's doubt. Yeah, and that's not snow out there, I no, promise. It's not. We're, guys, we're going to take a quick break. break. What? Okay, we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Thanks Some for sticking information around. about the Henderson Park Inn, where we are today. <laughs> Does the economy have you worried about losing your job or having to change your lifestyle? Cutting back and living less was not an option for me. I started my own business with Prepaid Legal Services Incorporated so that I could call the shots. I don't worry about getting laid off or losing my job because I'm in control. I started out wanting to earn just an additional $500 a month and now I exceed that goal every month. So if you're looking for a way to make more money without another boss, call an independent associate today. Once again, hi everybody and welcome to Seahawks Avenue. I'm Dennis Stumler for 30A Television. Alongside me, the head football coach and athletic director at South Walton High School, David Barron. Coach Barron, you and I were talking just minutes ago. Big win over Holmes County the other night. Never in doubt, though, right? Oh, yeah. Never in doubt. What yeah. a game. I'm going to tell you what. If the, fans, if the fans weren't there Friday night, they wouldn't believe everybody's telling it. That was the wildest Five minutes and 31 seconds in the fourth quarter I may have ever lived in in my life. And can recall fewer games in my life. Uh, you know, I don't care where I've been coaching that were more exciting than that one, especially as, as the game wound down. Well, I'll tell you something. Throughout the game, so many youngsters stepped up on both sides of the line of scrimmage. I was really impressed with the fact when things were going well, they got better. When things were going bad, they got better because you were able to make the adjustments. Well, we, we you know, uh, games like this are always going to have the mountains and, and, and valleys, as I call them, peaks and valleys. And, and, you know, we went into the dressing room with a comfortable lead. And, uh, you know, I, I, I've been, I told you last week and told the kids all last week, Holmes County does not quit. And, you know, it, it was, uh, you go from, I call it going from outhouse to penthouse right there in the last two minutes because, uh, you know, we got a beautiful drive going, you know, they're up 27-24 after we've led the whole ball game. We've got a beautiful drive going. We fumble on the one, and uh, I, I laughed. You, you're not going to believe it, but I laughed so hard uh, when, uh, you know, we fumble on the one. The next play, we recover a fumble in the end zone to go up 27-24, and Coach Mayer, I'm down there yelling, P.A.T. field goal, and Coach Mayer says, you better get the kickoff on this to safety. I said, no, Coach, we score, and he said, we did. I mean, you know, it was just that kind of game. Wow. Yeah, it really was crazy. There were some great plays and great players who stepped up, as we said. I can't single out one in particular. I wish I could interview all of them. But we did talk to three guys who really stepped up and did a great job just after the victory. You know, the final score doesn't reflect it, but you made what turned out to be the winning touchdown. Take me through that recovery in the end zone. Um, well, it started off, I just saw the ball pop out. I just saw it laying there in the end zone, so I picked up for the score. A battle all the way through. I mean, these guys were tough. You guys played a great game, though. Oh, well, I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, it was a hard-fought game, but made it through. It's just another win. You're going to drive across the bridge next week, right? Yes, sir. Right. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Andrew, a couple of late 
late heroics on your part. Sorry. Take me through that last touchdown. It wasn't the winning touchdown necessarily. Yeah. We just talked to Andrew, but take me through that. Well, we just, the corners are told to be back deep. Don't let anything by you. And it was a wobbly spiral up in there. I just broke on it and yeah. took it back. Boy, what a defensive battle on your guys. So, I mean, that was, it was tough on both sides of the line of scrimmage, oh, yeah. but it was hard. It, it was a track me out there. That's probably the most scoring we've had all this year. Yeah. Offense and defense. That's the most points we put up offense. That's the most once we gave up defense, there was a track meet out there. At the end, the, the last interception, that was one of those. You're just playing center field back I'm just there. Playing, yeah, yes, sir. I'm just playing deep back there, just breaking on the ball, waiting for it to fall, just making sure nothing gets behind me. Now we got Freeport. That should be fun. Oh, yeah. we. I want to come out and beat it. That's the team I want to beat the bet, the worst this year. That's about it. Yes, sir. Thanks, Andrew. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. No Chris, it was a war out there, but I tell you what, you dug it. You dug down deep when you had to, right? Uh, yes, sir. We practiced this all week, and uh, we just knew it was going to be a tight game tonight. It's been one of those deals for you. You kind of came out of nowhere. This, is, this has got to be maybe one of the biggest wins for you. Uh, yes, sir. By far the biggest win for us. Just for us and the team and just the, just the city of Saw Wall and everything. Talk about the emotions out there because it was getting kind of heated at the end. Oh, yeah, it was up and down. I mean, us fumbling the ball, them fumbling the ball. It was up and down, but I'm just glad we just came through and at the end. And we just practiced this and practiced this, and we're more conditioned, and we just went in at the end. You know, it was really an unbelievably difficult task for you guys to go on the road for four games. But I know that when you walked out here tonight and looked up, the stands were full. There was great enthusiasm. How did that make the Seahawks feel? <laughs> It was quite a difference for sure. We, we're not used to looking up at the stands and having big fans come out. But, I mean, everybody's been hearing about our 4-0 and that we've never been 4-0 before. So, I mean, I'm just I th I'm thankful for the support that came out here tonight. You heard the chant at the end, didn't you? Oh, yeah, for sure. It was loud on the field. 5-0, 5-0, but you got Freeport next week. Oh, we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to it. Beat them at their own house. That's what we're going to do. <laughs>
where stress ceases to exist, where aches and pains are completely unnecessary, and hectic routines are calmly replaced with a balanced and healthy lifestyle. Welcome to Massage Envy. Professional therapists, convenient locations and hours, and with a customized one-hour massage session at only $49 for first-time guests, perfectly affordable. Revitalize your body without reworking your schedule at Massage Envy. Santa Rosa Golf and Beach Club is nestled between the Emerald Coast's favorite attractions. Sugar White Beaches and thriving woodlands, we have it all. 18 challenging golf holes with newly renovated greens that wind through the pure white sands, pristine ponds, and lush vegetation of the Santa Rosa Beach area. Extending from the Gulf of Mexico inland, Santa Rosa's sheer beauty and golfing enjoyment is a must for the avid and casual golfer. Golf Magazine calls it the purest golf on the panhandle. A good breeze is almost always blowing across the course, making even the hottest summer day a good golf day. And by the way, in the winter months, the gulf warms the air, providing a pleasant golf day, even during those not-so-warm winter months. We offer a fully equipped pro shop, featuring a great selection of clubs, bags, apparel, and golf accessories. Breakfast and lunch are served daily in Mulligan's Grill, along with a full bar that is moderately priced. The Beach Club Restaurant offers an amazing golf view from any table, plus refreshing outdoor seating on our expansive terrace. The dining room regularly hosts live entertainment and events. Our fun and elegant atmosphere provides the perfect setting for a family night out, lunchtime with the ladies, or a romantic dinner for two. We also offer a full-service bar so you can enjoy your favorite cocktail while watching the most amazing sunsets around. Whether it's lounging around the pool, fine dining with a golf view, or strolling along the private beach, Santa Rosa Golf and Beach Club is the perfect spot for a golf or family getaway. To find out more, call 850-267-1240. That's 850-267-1240. 267-1240 or go to SantaRosaClub.com All right, we're going to do it once more. Uh, uh, uh. Good afternoon and welcome to Good Morning 30A. I'm Julie Brown. <laughs> and I'm Red Bizard. And we are joined with Ryan Holt, the Spa Director for Serenity by the Sea Spa. Welcome. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Kind of back. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I appreciate being here. That's right. Well, so, talk to us. <laughs> We're going to start this one easy. Talk to us. Tell us about your spa. Tell us we, about your beautiful spa. We've got a lot going on, actually, right now. Um, we're located inside the Hilton on the Sandestin Resort in the beachside. <laughs> and uh, we've been open since 2001. And uh, one of our biggest things that we do is uh, we, we like to say that we're one of the only full-service spa salons and fitness centers in the area. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, we, we do everything from massages to facials to body treatments, uh, hair and nails, and uh, we're really, uh, yeah, we're really trying to push a lot of uh, stuff to our locals and, and know that uh, that they're really appreciated in the area and we, we want to serve And a beautiful location. It's a gorgeous location. Yeah, we really finally made nice. it over there the other day for something else and was like, oh my gosh, this is just gorgeous. It's beautiful. You can spend the entire day there, go to lunch. Go to the beach. Many of the places in, inside the, the hotel. You did, you did mention that before, which obviously they did not get to hear, but a great <laughs> place to do start to finish, spend your whole day and Absolutely. just make a day of it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, um, and weddings and uh, yeah, they we've got groups that come in uh, weddings. We handle wedding parties, uh, small groups, anywhere from you know five to eight people all the way up to a uh, hundred some odd people a day. So we we definitely can run the full gamut of everything there. Packages with lunch included, different things. Absolutely, uh, one of the things that that we have is uh, our sauna, steam room, whirlpool, locker facilities, and we really want the guests to enjoy that. Yeah. Um, is there a fitness center as well? There is. It's it's not uh, tremendous big but we do have uh, you know memberships uh, we we are the the fitness center for the entire hotel that's right sort so uh, you know we, we definitely encourage people to come in and, and use those facilities and, and, and of course really you get nice and relaxed who wants to go that's the thing, well, yeah. I'm figuring if you go over in the morning you start in the fitness exactly. center then you have a little lunch correctly. and then you go get and your you hair go, done and then you go you know I, mean, Absolutely. I think it sounds great it's then your sauna room and then the beach and Absolutely. dinner and cigars nothing wrong with that 
I'm in. Sign us up. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect day. And do you have any special events going on or anything with, you know, uh, holidays coming up and God, it's that time almost. Yeah. It is. Uh, we've got, yeah, we've got so much going on. We've got a pick two special right now that's running for $125. Um, and we've got what does that mean? It's basically we've got two categories, uh, and you get to pick one from one category and another from uh, from category B. And it, it's uh, it ranges from you can get a facial and a massage, or a facial and a pedicure, and just different combinations of things. Um, we have a 15% local discount that we that we do full nice uh, for the entire year. Uh, and one of our big things is we really just want to remind everyone that just because we're on the resort doesn't mean that locals can't come. We are open to the public, yeah. um, and we just encourage you know everyone to, to come out. Right. I think people forget about that sometimes that, you know, right. think of it as a resort place and to go and some place that you're on vacation with. And why not treat yourself? Yeah. That's you right. Know? I mean, that's, that it's that's a luxury we have year round and whenever we want. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and it's open to the public and we, we definitely encourage people just to drop by if they'd like to and just take a tour of the facilities. And uh, we've got day, day passes that people can buy and things like that. So it's... Great. That's place. awesome. How do we get in touch with you? Uh, you can call us at 850-622-9595, or we have our website, which is uh, serenitybytheseaspa.com. And uh, hopefully soon we're going to be launching our uh, a new program that we're going to be using at the hotel in the spa uh, where we are going to be able to book online. So we're really trying to open Everything things up. That way. It, yes. it is. Uh, you know, everyone books their hotels and airlines and everything online. Mm -hmm. So. Why not? To, yeah, why not book this? The extra special things. Exactly. Here, time to put the spa on. I love that. That's a great idea. So hopefully in the next couple of months we'll have that up and running. Very nice. That's awesome. Very nice. Well, Ryan, we're so glad that you came back. That you had time to come back and join us. It was and, a and, pleasure. Um, and this time the people will hear you. We promise. Yeah. That's right. Well, we don't promise. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we should never promise. <laughs> never promise yeah. anything that has technical involved with it. But um, and I really do want to get over there and check it out. Absolutely. So I would so love much. for you guys Thanks, to come Ryan, see us. Thanks, Ryan, for coming back. It's great to see you again. Thank come you get for a pedicure. Good to have a Okay. Guys, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Thanks. Stick around. Hello. Where are you? I told you not to call me at work. You're at work? It's Saturday. We've been waiting for you since sunrise. We got all these reports. And... Oh. He's not coming! Oh, come on! It's Saturday. Real good, Steve. Real good. We were biting this morning. We were biting this morning. A reminder from the Bat Blue Light. Premium beer imported daily from Canada, where good times, great friends, and greedy fish are waiting. Come on up. <clears throat> oh, uh, hey, hey. What are you doing? Just, you know, housekeeping. Really? Well, we've been bounding playfully through the woods since 6 a.m. Dust. We get the phones up at 5. Pine scented. Oh, you see the irony here? I'm not even buying this. I I'm sorry. Hey, you got that right. A reminder from the Bat Blue Light. Premium beer imported daily from Canada. The good friends, good times, and the great outdoors are waiting. Come on up. All right, we're going to do it once more. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to the Morning 30A. I'm Julie Brown. And I'm Red Bizard. And we are joined with Chandra Hartman for the uh, the chair for the 8th Annual Back to Nature Festival. Welcome. That's right. Thank you. Thanks for chair, having me. Chair, chairman, chairwoman. Chairperson. Chairperson. <laughs> chair, chair. Chair worked. We got it. Chair. Okay. What is it? <clears throat> Tell us uh, about the whole festival. <laughs> All right. The 8th Annual Back to Nature Festival is the big event for the South Walton Community Council. They host this every year and it's a lot of fun. Uh, we have two days of outdoor activities and we have a kickoff party on Friday night at Budden Alley's. Uh, last I presume upstairs outdoors. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> or downstairs outdoors. In the um, herb garden. I in think. the herb garden. Oh, yes. beautiful. Perfect. Herb garden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that that's our kickoff party. It's Friday night there mm -hmm. at 7 o'clock. It's open to the public. We're going to have some wonderful food. Is that this Friday night? I'm sorry. It's uh, October. <laughs> <laughs> These people aren't going to hear about it then. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually October 16th. Okay, great. So we have plenty of time. Plenty of time. Planned. Yeah. That's right. And you have a ton of activities and different things all throughout the weekend. That's right. That's Give us right. a little sampling of what um, people could partake in. Okay. We have uh, a Chaktahachi River Safari. Mm -hmm. You get to go out on a boat up the river and see the ecosystem and wildlife. Uh, this year we've added YOLO boarding, so people get to it's try that. It's the big that. thing yeah, this year. Great. And so it's a great opportunity if you've wanted to try it. That's to right. To get out and fall. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> Get wet. <laughs> we have a kayak tour on Western Lake. Great. A lot of fun. Um, hiking through Point Washington State Forest. You'll get to go with um, master gardeners, and they can point out the different out the vegetation wildlife. and wildlife. Mm -hmm. vegetation. I talked to a, a friend last night who, takes, <laughs> who said that they go every year, the family. And one thing, I, I don't know if you do this every year, but he said that they did... Um, a trail, they walked a trail where I guess you guys go out the night before and rake it. So then when they go the next day, they see what's gone, like either footprints or paths of, na you know, natural. Oh, that sounds really cool. Yes. Yeah, wildlife that has walked through or, or made their trail through and see and explain what everything is. And that's, I thought that sounded really fascinating. Yes, that's our wildlife track. That sounds event awesome. That we have. Yeah. So. And what a view, obviously, you do it on purpose, a beautiful month, October, to oh, do yeah. something like this. And the weather's going to be perfect. So it sounds like <laughs> you're already your hiking, in, right? and hiking and, and water and and kayaking and yolo boarding and and we also have an all-day event at the seaside amphitheater on saturday the 17th and that's the what we're calling the family fun day okay and we're going to have live music we have coconut radio is going to be out there in the afternoon yeah. and uh there's going to be all kinds of great things for the whole family the seaside farmers market vendors are going to be there terrific we're going to have oh, some of our local environmental nonprofits like the choctahatchee basin alliance mm -hmm. Uh, of course, the SWCC will have a booth there so you can sign up for events. And uh, lots of informational displays. We're going to have someone talking about biodiesel, uh, the U.S. Green Building Council. Uh, it's going to cover it all when it yeah. comes to nature. Recycled art projects, hula hooping, potato sack races. No, wait a minute, hula hooping. <laughs> that's why I go to the. That's why I like. How is that back to nature? So bad. Yeah, get, get outside and hula get your hoop groove on. Grass skirt. Hello. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Bamboo hula hoop. And do you need tickets to do all this? Uh, do people have to register to do? How does this work yes. as far as getting involved in it and then You will need to register to do the outdoor activities. You have to sign up for those in advance. Okay. Um, uh, there's a couple of ones that are free, like we have a sunrise meditation that I know you won't be making it to. <laughs> she made that clear. She was paying attention. <laughs> sunrise, what's that? Oh, that's when that big fiery thing comes up. I get it. <laughs> that's one of our free events. <laughs> okay. And the other ones are um, $10, and they go to the South Walton Community Council. Great. And uh, so for the, some of the other ones, like the YOLO boarding and the right. kayaking, you'll have to rent a kayak to do those. To do so. those. So this is a fundraiser so. basically for the Community Council. That's right. What does the Community Council do? Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, the South Walton Community Council is an organization that's dedicated to preserving, enhancing, and protecting our natural environment here in Walton County. Great. So they're out there educating the public and um, putting on public forums and uh, monitoring, monitoring so the development. So if we wanted to learn about like our lakes, which are kind of, you know, a special thing that we have here, we could call you and say, tell us how this works. And why yes, is it? Okay, <laughs> cool. That's great. I, so. I wasn't aware of so. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. And right. the, the Family <laughs> Sunday is free, so. Oh, and nice. as so is the um, opening night, Bud and Alley's Bud Friday Alley's night. Oh, great. Awesome. Yeah. And did you give your website out already? I did not, okay. but it's... Let's give that out to everybody, though. <laughs> yes. So they have that. You can register for events online and find out more about the organization and also see, also see videos and become a member at www.southwaltoncc.org. <laughs> there you go. Easy so. peasy. Well, it sounds like a great time. So it's kickoff is the 16th of okay. October. Button alleys, and then you've all day events what? Saturday and Sunday. That's right. 17th and 18th. That's great. Chandra, it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank weather, you very much. So that's a good thing to I know. Very nice it's, to meet it's you. It's definitely a good time to be outside. So, <laughs> guys, I'd like to thank you very much for tuning in this week. Um, before we go, I'd like to thank our sponsors Sunshine Shuttle and Limousine, 38 Radio, Santa Rosa Golf and Beach Club, which we're broadcasting from, Henderson Park Inn. Which we will be at again next week. Very soon. Massage Envy uh, over in Pier Park and Enzo's around the corner. We'll see you soon. Thanks. We'll see you next week.